Hi, this is Stuart from Solid Signal, working from home just like the rest of you. And I want to show you a couple of things about these GOT W3 routers. You know, if you have bad cell service at home and you don't want to put in a regular cell booster system, you can use an external antenna with these routers and it's really easy. The most important thing is knowing where to connect that antenna cable. Other than the GOT W3 device itself, you're going to need a few parts. The first is this antenna. It mounts up on a mast that you can get, a piece of fence post, or even a chimney. It's very easy and very flexible to put up. The idea is you would put it up high in view of where you know a cell tower is. You'll also need some cable. For example, this Wilson cable. This is different from regular RG6 cable. You can kind of see from the ends that it's a different kind of cable and has different kind of connectors on it. Regular cable company cable or RG6 cable isn't going to work as well and I really recommend just that you get something that is designed specifically for this. This is a 20 foot cable but other lengths are available at Solid Signal. If you look at this picture the bigger connector is an RG6 connector. The smaller connector is the SMA connector that's used for these GOT W3 devices. You can see they're very similar but different in size. So I'm going to show you how to connect these antennas to both the regular GOT W3 router and the ReadyNet router. On the base GOT W3 router, looking at the router from the back, you want to disconnect the right side antenna, the one that's closest to the red button. In other words, this one. Just unscrew the router antenna and screw on the external cable. It's very easy. If you have the ReadyNet router, which is the one with the flat paddle antennas and multiple Ethernet ports on the back, you want to disconnect this antenna here. Another way to look at this is that you take off the antenna that's on the same side as the SIM card. This is the cable that connects to it. Just screw it right off and screw the SMA connector right on. Once you've done that, then you should be all set. Once you have the outdoor antenna mounted and all connected to the router, it's just a matter of turning everything on and it should just work. You can get the GOT W3 system now at SolidSignal.com.